What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. It just feels like it's been so long since I've vlogged. This angle sucks. I'm trying to balance you on my bed because there we go that's it because there's a literal pile of clothes over here on my floor that i need to freaking do something with my whole apartment is a disaster but that's besides the point i took a break last week just because i was i really honestly felt like i had no ideas and now it is sunday and i am so excited to vlog today sundays are one of my favorite days of the week they're usually one of my favorite days of the week because i use them to do nothing most of the time i like to stay in my why does this always happen with this fucking shoe? I like to stay at home, watch football, and just like literally rot all day, but not today. Today I actually have some things I want to do. I have a few errands I need to run. I need to go pick up some prints because I actually decided last night that I wanted to replace all of the prints on my gallery wall in my living room. So I went through, bought some prints last night on Etsy, and then sent them to Walgreens to be printed out. So I need to go get those, but not every Walgreens I learned does the poster sizes so I had to pick a farther away one so we're gonna be going on a little walk today and I decided based on that errand alone <laughs> that I was just gonna do a stroll I'm gonna start off with brunch I'm gonna go get brunch solo oh I need to bring my I want to bring my book to read and then I need to go pick up the prints I need to go to the grocery store I'll probably go to Whole Foods I'm hoping that's like my best bet for finding everything I want for the recipe that I want to make tonight Oh my god, I'm so excited for this recipe, except I'm scared because I don't want to f*** it up. But I'll tell you more about that. Oh my god, it's a soup recipe, and if you know me, you know that this soup specifically I have been fixating on for the last, like, month. So I'm gonna make it myself. My grandma gave me her recipe, and she says it's the best, so I'm gonna make it. I really hope I don't f*** it up. And then the Eagles are playing later tonight, so we're gonna watch that. And that's really, like, the loose plans that I have for the day. I just finished getting myself ready took a quick body shower, got like put a little bit of makeup on, and now I need to grab my jacket. It is apparently brisk outside. It's supposed to be windy. I'm not really seeing any wind right now, which is like fine by me, but I'm preparing accordingly with some colder weather clothes. I'm so freaking excited because I love dressing for fall and I love layering and I love colder weather clothes. So this is so great for me. <laughs> this is cute, wait. It's tough with the hoodie, but I did that to myself. Dude, putting this mirror in here is one of the best things I've done. Okay, I took the jacket off and I just did the hoodie with the scarf in the bag. No, it's literally just such a mess. Don't even look, please. I feel like I like this better. And also there's people outside that are just wearing sweatshirts, it's looking like, so I don't know. I also am so prone to sweating that I'm like, I might as well dress cooler than warmer because I'm going to sweat. The shoes are still questionable to me. I feel like it could kind of work. I'm just going to go with this. I'm thinking too much. I love scarves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's do a little outfit of the day. This scarf I got at a sample sale. This is a Nina Bang. This is literally just a black, plain black hoodie. Abercrombie 90s, Curve Love high rise jeans. These are the split hem ones. So they've got the little opening down there. Platform black Converse, Charlie's Toys from Chewy. My tote is McNally Jackson. I got the Williamsburg one and that's it. And then I'm just gonna bring my sunglasses. It's like a high of 55. Am I crazy for like thinking that's not that cold? Or am I just a Northeast person? Like, I feel like it would need to be like 30 to wear the heavy leather jacket on top of this. Like, I hope I'm right. I'm like surveying what other people are wearing. I always do this and it helps most of the time. Final verdict, I'm just gonna go with this and work up a sweat so that I can keep myself warm. I feel like the scarf is gonna help. The scarf always does it, you know? Did I make my bed today? No. Will I do that when I get back? Yes. Okay, here's the outfit. Casual, cozy. I feel like it's perfect for the Sunday we're about to have together. Maybe I should do a little Sunday cleanup while we're here because obviously I need it. We are going to begin our day with some food and some coffee. I want to go to Veselka in the East Village. I went last, wait, was it last weekend or the weekend before? Last weekend, question mark? Whenever my dad was here, we went together for breakfast slash brunch and it was so good. I've been there one other time for brunch, but this time I got their French toast and it was Honestly, the best French toast I've ever had. I've been thinking about it since. So I want to start my day there. Some French toast and bacon and a freaking iced latte. No, I'm so excited. It's probably gonna be really packed. So <laughs> hopefully the wait isn't crazy. It is a literal Sunday and I'm getting a late start. It's 11 a.m. So we're just gonna, we need to go. We're gonna start our day over in the East Village at Veselka. And then from there, we walk all around Tarnation. <laughs>
what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. cutest coffee shop ever it's a coffee shop and like a little plant store they had candles oh my god it smelled amazing in there it's so freaking cute i'm so excited i got a pumpkin spice latte let's try it walking to Walgreens to pick up sorry this is like an awkward like I have to hold a million things I'm now walking to Walgreens to pick up my prince we're going on a nice little walk it is nice today I love fall in New York City I just love it so much I just got back from my walk and I desperately need to clean my apartment. Like, it is so bad. It's actually giving me anxiety, but I'm too excited about my gallery wall. So I wanna do that first. I have to do it. I have to hang everything up. This is the gallery wall right now. Take one last look at it. It's been like this since I literally moved in two years ago. I'm keeping this print and this one. These are both hand painted things that I got done. So I'm keeping those, but everything else I'm changing and I got my prints from Walgreens. I have two 8x8s, two 8x10s, an 11 by 14 and a 16 by 20 to hang up. I'm so excited. I really hope it looks good. The main piece that I'm putting in this, the biggest one right here, my friend Reese actually painted. So shout out Reese. She painted this and then made digital copies of it. I purchased this off of her Etsy last night and I, I just think it's stunning and I love it. And so that is gonna be the new center, like statement piece or whatever the fuck, I don't know. I'm gonna do it one at a time so that I can remember which thing goes where and I don't mess the whole thing up. It's also my third coffee of the day. I'm gonna pop on like a podcast or something when I do this because I can't do anything without having another form of entertainment. My pea brain just can't. Let's get into it. <laughs> down below. Also, they're all from Etsy. I need to clean my apartment so aggressively. I have so much to put away. I have clothes I need to put away. But before I do that, I need to free up some hangers to hang them on so I can put them in my closet 
I'm gonna take some of my summer stuff out. Where is my damn chapstick? All right, honestly, what is better than a Sunday apartment, home, room cleanup? Hardly anything, if you ask me. I've got shit everywhere. Literally, I just have to kind of start somewhere. I want to start by putting my clothes away. Actually, no, I can start with this because these just need to go in the damn hamper. I need to do laundry, but that seems like a Monday thing. I'm going to first empty out all my bags, put away the things I can put away. Then I'm going to go through, take out my summer like dresses and stuff that are on hangers. I need to like rearrange my closet too. We're just going to zone in. We're going to get in the zone. I'm going to put a podcast on. I still have my coffee. I, I haven't touched it for like an hour because I realized I forgot to make a thumbnail for my video that just went up. So I sat and did that. And then Charlie sat down with me on the couch. She never sits like on my lap and she did. And she was just sleeping. So I couldn't get up, obviously. I missed Charlie so much. Her absence was definitely felt in these last few vlogs. So I'm happy she's back. She's literally going under the bed right now. She doesn't want to be seen at the moment, but I'm sure she will be saying hello later if I have anything to say about it, which I do. Just looking at it, it's giving me anxiety. Okay, taking a break from the cleaning because I need to start cooking my soup because apparently this takes a while and I'm also the slowest cook known to man as it is. So we're gonna start now. It's 4.15, we're in the kitchen. We're about to make, ah, oh my God, I'm so excited. We're making French onion soup tonight. I have been on such a French onion soup kick lately. I have my grandma's recipe here. So welcome back to home cooking with Hannah. Fall edition, soup season edition. I got all my ingredients earlier. I am about to begin. Definitely takes like a solid two hours to, to make. All right, great. We're gonna get started. If you're new to home cooking with Hannah, welcome. I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time, but I will say, since I've been doing home cooking with Hannah when I moved into this apartment a couple years ago, I've gotten a lot better at cooking. I will say that. And I'm proud of my progress. I've been trying a lot of new recipes, getting good at new things. So we have another new recipe here today. I'm so excited to be documenting another part of this journey with you guys. I went from making literally butter noodles every night to now I'm gonna make my very own homemade French onion soup. I just love it. It's so fun to feel that I'm getting better and that I'm learning and just, I, I know I'm getting so much better. So it's making me really happy. I need to go grab my iPad or something so I can watch some videos while I'm preparing stuff. I need to chop up or slice up, sorry. My onions, I'm gonna cut out my bread and then let it sit out, my mom said to do. And then from there, it's really just about combining things. And I'm gonna half this recipe, because it's just me. I'm gonna put the half recipe that I'm following. If you want to make the full serving, you can just double everything. I feel like I'm always wearing this sweatshirt. It's actually cracking me out. I wear this in almost every video. I swear that I washed it, it's just so comfortable. And my favorite sweatshirt right now is from Abercrombie. Let's begin. Alrighty, hello friends, you know the drill. First, we're gonna start off with the ingredients. Go ahead and screenshot this if you'd like. First step is the preparation, as always. I'm gonna start by cutting my baguette into two inch thick slices. Girl, this shit is hard. Why is this so fucking hard? <sighs> is it crazy that I like cutting onions or? No, wait, they make me cry, but besides that, I enjoy it. So I've gotten Next, I need to thinly slice my yellow onions. Just going ahead and cutting as many of these as I need to make 
two and a half cups of onion slices. Guys, I slay it. Turns out I only needed two onions to get two and a half cups. One and a half tablespoons of butter. Now it's time for our first actual step, which is to cook the onions on low in the butter and oil for 30 minutes in a covered saucepan. I'm setting my timer for 30 minutes and I'll be back. The first 30 minutes are done. So now I need to uncover, raise heat to medium and stir in salt and sugar. Once I've added in this salt and sugar, I'm cooking this for 30 to 40 minutes. I chose 35 to be safe and I'm stirring it frequently until the onions have turned an even deep golden brown. After that 35 minute period is up, I'm sprinkling in the flour and I'm stirring that for three minutes. And as you saw, like 10 seconds ago, I started boiling some water. So this is gonna be for the boiling beef broth. I put four cups of water and I'm adding in whatever the equivalent of four bouillon cubes is. So I have this better than bouillon, bouillon. How do you say that? What you need to know is that the ratio is one to one. And I, for some reason, can never find bouillon cubes at the store. So I get the better than bouillon. This is the beef one. So I mixed that into the boiling water and then added this mixture to the pot with the onions. Then I'm also adding in my white wine. I picked a Sauvignon Blanc for this and I really liked it. And now I'm simmering this mixture for 30 to 40 minutes. Again, I did 35. You can also season this to taste. I added a little bit of salt, set it on medium high-ish heat and let it simmer. I think the soup is done. I'm scared. My mom gave me these little bowls to put it in. I don't have a ladle, so I'm literally just gonna use this to put it in. Is where things get crazy. I went ahead and added my soup to my crock. You just wanna make sure that you have an oven safe bowl to put this in. And then I put my piece of bread on top and a slice of Swiss cheese tucked in the sides and it is time to bake it. For a regular oven, it's gonna be 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And then for a convection oven like I have, it's 375 for 15. I'm gonna let this cool for literally 20 minutes. Like it's boiling. <laughs> I think it has accidentally been in like 20 minutes because I got carried away reading my book, but I'm here. We're gonna try this. I'm nervous, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, it's still so hot. one of the greatest things I've ever tasted. I'm so sorry. It's unreal. I can't believe I made this. No notes. Hello. It has been a few hours and I meant to start watching the Eagles and they were, they started at 8.20. Oh, hello. <laughs> She's like, what the f She's like, why are you waking me? I was seeping, seeping so good. She's like, you're waking me. Okay, sorry, that's on me. My literal bowl is still over there. I ran after I finished eating, back to my book. Charlie's pissed. <laughs> Sorry! I ran back to the couch to continue reading my book. I'm currently reading A Court of Mist and Fury, which is the second book in the Akatar series. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I think I'm like 85% of the way done. <laughs> I just got to the really good part. Oh my God. Like, I think I'm, I might have to start crying. It's so hard to talk about these books without giving spoilers i'm not gonna give spoilers but if you haven't read this series oh my god the first book i'm not gonna lie was a little slow for me to get into it i feel like it took me like 40 percent to like really start getting into it but i jumped right into the second book and i just have no <laughs> i don't have any words if you've read this series you know exactly what i'm talking about with mist and fury 
at about 80% of the way. I am gonna blur this out for people who don't want spoilers, but I too am in love with I had to, somebody had to say it. I had to say it out loud. Where do I find one of those? I would go to a Prithian for this man. <sighs> Life changing. Fourth Wing book two is coming out November 7th. I can't stop talking about Fourth Wing because I loved Fourth Wing so much. Fourth Wing is a completely different series, but I read the first book, which is Fourth Wing, and then the second book is coming out in November. I didn't think I'd find anything that I loved as much as Fourth Wing, and I honestly, st I don't know, it's hard. Like, I love Fourth Wing and Akatar for different reasons, but like this second book of Akatar is really doing it for me right now. I don't know, something about Fourth Wing just is gonna continue to do it for me, but Akatar is a very close next in line, especially the second book. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so good, I couldn't stop. So I, it's literally like 10 p.m. I haven't put away my dinner. I just turned the Eagles game on. They just came back from halftime. So I'm gonna watch the second half of the game, which is literally my plan. Like I was planning on sitting here and watching it from 8.20 to whenever it ends, but I just got carried away with my book. And that's my recap. That's, those are my thoughts right now. Oh my God, I love texting. I'm texting my friend, Emma. I texted her all throughout when I was reading Fourth Wing. I've been texting her throughout Akatar because she read both of those already. And it's just so good to like have somebody to talk to about it who knows exactly what's happening. And I'm, there's no spoilers. I'm gonna stop now for tonight though and relax with the reading. Okay, I'm gonna watch this game. I need to take my makeup off. I need to put away the soup. I'm gonna put the rest of it in the fridge so that I can remake it the next couple days. Oh my God, it was so good. I can't even explain to you how good that soup was. It's one of those things that I like can't believe I made it myself. I would pay money, like serious money for that at a restaurant. I'm so proud of myself. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. It was a complete success, a million out of 10. Literally no notes, not one. I, sh I never doubted my grandma for a second. If she said that that recipe was the best French onion soup she's had, then I, who am I? To, to say otherwise, you know what I mean? Like I, she's always right, so. Grandma, if you're watching this, love you. What doing? Evaluated by the unaffiliated neuro trauma consultant. I'm getting a facial tomorrow, so I can't use my tretinoin tonight. Alrighty, the Eagles won, thank God. I can officially go to bed happy. I look an absolute mess. I am all ready for bed. Need to change into my pajamas. It's hot in here. The heat must've started kicking on because oh my God. Oh, not the black lines on my camera, I hate that. Anyway, it is almost midnight. It smells like onions in my house. <laughs> I should've expected that after cooking onions for two hours. But that is gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching, for coming along with me today. I hope that you had fun. I had such a nice Sunday. This was literally the ideal Sunday. I feel like I got so much done, which is odd for me on a Sunday, but it was a nice surprise. <laughs> I feel really good about everything that I did today. With that being said, that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. If you stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified when I post, you can turn on my post notifications for my channel. It's the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. I love you so much. I hope you have a one for us of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.